Thank you for seeing my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, today, what I'm going to show you is uh, how to install this uh, CPU cooler for the AM4 motherboard. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for seeing my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And today, what I'm going to do is to show you how to install uh, the CPU cooler on this motherboard. This uh, motherboard is the Asus uh, B350 Prime Plus. It's an AM4 uh, motherboard. So AMD AM4 motherboard. It's for the Ryzen uh, first generation uh, motherboard. So like always before I'm going to put a new uh, thermal paste and on that a new uh, CPU cooler what I'm going to do is to clean the old, the old thermal uh, paste from the CPU with a towel so in order to put the cooler what we need there are the mounts for the cooler and this so we need the AMD side so we need the AMD side so because this is an AM4 this is the AMD side and we need this hole so we have these screws well this screw and we need to put it here for the AM4 AM4 and we need to put this washer on the screw so I put this back plate on the back of this um, motherboard so I put the back plate in back of this motherboard So as you can see, the plate is on the back of the motherboard. And now we are going to, I'm going to uh, prepare. So we have this plate. This plate is going to go here, as you can see, it's going to be here, and we have the screws, the little ones, so I can put the screws on this plate. Don't forget when you're putting the screws, so we'll put them with the X. So, if you need to adjust them. Sorry, uh, not forget to put it in an X when you put in the screws because then you are going to apply an equal pressure at all the sides and also don't screw it until the end so don't tight the screws until you are sure that the plate is on the place where you want it to be so you can after that uh, play a little bit with that. So I'm tightening them. See that everything is okay. Before I put in the cooler, I need to put the standoff. Everything is okay. It's supposed to be okay. Put in a little bit of this thermal paste. So I put in here one, 
Q1, Q1, and Q1. Now I put in the cooler. And now the screws. Power supply so connected. Everything is connected. And we only need to turn it on. So now it's working. And now you can hear the fan turning on. You can hear what kind of uh, noise is going to do and you also can see the RGB working so you can see the RGB working so as I said before that I'm going to put here where I unbox it so I, the RGB you cannot control it it's already controlled by the by the fan itself Thank you for seeing this video, I hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you for subscribing to my channel, if you like the video, like the video, if you dislike the video, put dislike to this video, don't uh, be afraid to put uh, any uh, comments on this video, and don't forget to subscribe, thank you and have a nice day.